Hello everyone, welcome to KK Human Anatomy and Physiology videos, a platform where you will get interesting facts about human anatomy and physiology. In this video, we are going to discuss some interesting facts about our brain. The brain is one of the most complex and incredible organ in human body. Have you ever wondered how brain actually works? What are neurons? Why brain is the most mysterious organ for scientists? There are as many neurons in the brain as there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. No wonder, it's the most mysterious organ. Your most of the activities are under the control of brain. Without brain, you could not be able to think. Certain areas of brain helps in problem solving. It is the limbic system of brain that is responsible for behavioral and emotional responses. Brain also manages your sensation like touch, pressure, heat. It also manages posture. Parts of brain are involved in converting your thoughts into memory, hearing and visual processing system. Parts of brain also controls handwriting, breathing and sleep. In all, brain is responsible for your control and coordination. Without brain, you cannot speak, sense, think, even you cannot move your body. Human brain is the part of central nervous system. It is protected under the bone box that is the cranium of the skull. The adult human brain weighs on average about 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms which is about 2% of the total body weight. The brain consists of the cerebrum which is the largest part of brain, the brain stem and the cerebellum. In order to study brain, it is divided into three parts, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. If you want to know more details about these three parts, then click on this top i button. You can find its link in description as well. As we saw, the brain is protected by the skull and the cavity in which it is protected is cranium. Brain is suspended in CSF that is cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid is a clear colorless body fluid found within the tissues that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. Cerebrospinal fluid is an ultrafiltrate of plasma that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. If we talk about the functions of CSF, then it includes protection. CSF acts as a cushion for the brain limiting neural damage in cranial injuries. It provides basic mechanical and immunological protection to the brain inside the skull and protects the brain tissue from injury when jolted or heat. By providing a fluid buffer that acts as a shock absorber from some forms of mechanical injury. Another important function of CSF is chemical stability. It creates an environment for proper functioning of the brain. For example, it maintains low extracellular potassium for synaptic transmission. The net weight of the brain suspended in CSF is equivalent to a mass of 25 to 50 grams. This prevents excessive pressure on the base of the brain. CSF allows for the removal of waste products from the brain. Metabolic waste products diffuse rapidly into CSF and are removed into the bloodstream as CSF is absorbed. Brain produces roughly 500 ml of cerebrospinal fluid per day. So basically, where the CSF is produced? In this image, you can see ventricles. These ventricles are the structures that produce cerebrospinal fluid and transport it around the cranial cavity. They are lined by ependymal cells which form a structure called the choroid plexus. Within the choroid plexus, CSF is produced. When we see the outer surface of brain, that is the outer surface of cerebrum, which is also called as cerebral cortex, there are certain elevations and depressions. Ridge or elevation on the surface of brain is called gyrus. Each gyrus is surrounded by depression known as sulci. Brain gyri and sulci has two important functions. They increase the surface area of the cerebral cortex. Increasing the surface area of the brain allows more neurons to be packed into the cortex so that it can process more information. 
this large surface area gives us better cognition now let's see some interesting facts about brain a small area in the brain called the amygdala is responsible for your ability to read someone else's face for clues to how they are feeling the amygdala is considered to be part of the brain's limbic system neuroscience is the study of brain and nervous system including their structure function and disorders water plays a big role in brain health and computing power that's because your brain is about 75% h2o you do have a left and right brain that's because it's divided into two almost symmetrical but not identical hemispheres connected by the corpus callosum which is a nerve bundle your brain is kind of cross wired the left side controls muscles on your body's right side the right side of your brain is responsible for pulling the strings on the muscles of your left side it sounds confusing but your brain has it figured out the human brain is far better than the best computer ever created it can handle a lot of information every second and process it all faster than a computer and that means a lot of information up to 10 to 16th power every second brain cells called neurons also called as nerve cells makes all this speed and computing possible non neuronal cells called glia or glial cells also helps there are about 100 billion of these nerve cells in your brain they are able to communicate with other neurons via chemical or electrical signals neurons are cells but they have unique properties that set them apart from your other cells and these physical differences help them to do their job neurons have special branches on one end called dendrites and exon on the other end the dendrites receive information while the exon on the other end sends the information to the next neuron which makes a very huge network to transmit message the billions of tiny neurons in the brain communicate with each other across small spaces called synapses there are more than 1 lakh chemical reactions happening in the human brain every second neurotransmitter is a brain chemical that lets these neurons communicate with each other and therefore allows the brain to function properly a neurotransmitter carries a chemical message from one neuron to another neuron everyday researchers are learning more about the chemicals that the neurons in the human brain use to communicate with each other they know now that all the feelings and emotions that people experience are produced through chemical changes in the brain emotions such as happiness sadness and stress occur through complex chemical processes when the brain tells the body to do something such as to sit down or run this also sets a chemical process your whole brain doesn't sleep not fully at least and your dreams are proof science doesn't even know everything about dreams but they are thought to be a function of imagination psychology and neurology mixing together depression social withdrawal mood swings in others irritability and aggressiveness wandering confusion with the time and place you might have heard the term alzheimers disease Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative condition while the vast majority of people with Alzheimer's are in their mid 70s or older an estimated 5% of people with Alzheimer's have early onset Alzheimer's affecting people before age 65 Psychiatrist is a medical doctor who has completed specialized training in the diagnosis and treatment of mental illness. Psychiatrist diagnose type of mental illness, provide mental health counseling and can prescribe medications. 
cognitive psychologists sometimes called brain scientists study how the human brain works new technologies like magnetic resonance imaging mri of the brain is a safe and painless test that uses a magnetic field and radio waves to produce detailed images of the brain and the brain stem it allows researchers to see a picture of the brain helping them to understand how a brain reacts to a particular stimulus or how differences in brain structures can affect a person's health personality or cognitive functioning the human brain is probably the most complex entity known to man and for all of our advancements in science especially in neuroscience there is still more we don't know about the human brain i am going to start a lecture series in which i will give you detailed information about brain anatomy and physiology you will find its link in i button as well as in description below if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video for more update join the forum and group visit my facebook page for more information i have provided the link in description below have a happy learning